The usage of deep geothermal energy in Germany is less than 1%, although the potential of the technology is huge. It needs further investment in research and development to make these projects more cost-effective and productive, and which will lead to a broader usage of geothermal energy in Germany. In Germany, I still see a lack of commitment to develop geothermal energy. We have um, done a number of successful pilot projects that proven the great potential that we have. Unfortunately, that hasn't triggered the development on a larger scale. The successful drilling of a deep borehole is required to extract the natural heat source. Because the costs of drilling are pretty high, not just the technical realization, but also a successful rate of flow is highly important. Our aim is to reduce drilling costs by destroying hard rock with high voltage impulses. The electric impulse technology just needs 10 to 20 percent of the energy demand of conventional drilling systems. Furthermore, our system requires just loose contact to the borehole bottom. Therefore, we can reduce the contact forces and the abrasion of the drilling head. This results in longer drill stints, less unproductive time and less drilling costs. Within our projects, we already showed that our system works fine with oil-based mud. Water-based mud is more environmental friendly, so our system has to be adjusted to the new change conditions. Furthermore, we have to prove the performance of the electric impulse technology drilling system in field tests with our test rig. The rocks that we are, have to drill are harder and more rigid than the soft rocks that the oil and gas industry is drilling to. So we need to develop new techniques that is able to drill into these hard and crystalline rocks. And we're doing this within a project that is combining different physical aspects of the drilling process, which is thermal drilling, which is mechanical drilling and hydraulic drilling. So the laser drilling project is using a laser beam to weaken hard rock formations and then to cut those rocks with conventional mechanical and hydraulic assisted uh, techniques. We were able to develop a full-scale prototype and with that prototype we were able to drill hard rock like crystalline rocks and quartzitic rocks under atmospheric conditions. The next step though will be to transfer this drilling technique into reservoir conditions. With new drilling technologies, um, automated drilling rigs, um, drilling speed will significantly increase in the next uh, decade. In a project in Finland, for example, we managed to drill up to 10 times faster using such technology. We are developing drilling technology further. Our automated drilling rigs require less fuel um, create less noise um, and are safer to work with. Besides that, we also invest in downhole technology and, and testing and developing uh, downhole drilling hammers. In our center of excellence for geothermal research, we have developed downhole drilling and production technology for geothermal applications since years. One example is a lifetime improvement of a downhole production pump. These pumps are subject to corrosive and scaling attacks, which are very specific to the geothermal application. Through a detailed investigation of the failure mechanism and a systematic improvement of materials and mechanical components, we were able to increase the lifetime by factor three. This equals a reduction of operating cost by factor three as well. We need to continue the development of fit-for-purpose drilling technology for geothermal application, which has to include better use of downhole data for better decision making. SVM and the City of Munich agreed to fulfill the vision of CO2 neutrality for heat supply by 2040. In order to reach this goal, the Molasses Basin below Munich provides a deep but appropriate hot water resource. The source of energy production will take on an essential role during an environmentally friendly but also economically responsible energy transition. As a significant development in the last years, 
was and is the improvement of the understanding about the reservoir of thermal water. This could be used for comprehensive reservoir management in order to improve the management of one or more fields of mining law. Geothermal energy will play an important role in the transition process of the German energy system. A great challenge is planning at the highest level. This is necessary to maintain a high level of security and efficiency, which is the only way to reproduce previous success and build a foundation for future projects. It is important to understand that the decisions made during the drilling phase of a geothermal project do impact the commercial success afterwards. Given the fact that 70% of the general cost is associated to drilling, it makes sense to invest more in new technologies to reduce costs.